Today we are installing the fine line tuning kit on the 240. We kind of plan on doing side skirts and then rear bumper because those are the two things that'll be easiest to do. And then we'll have to do some cutting to fit the front bumper on over the bash bar and the intercooler. I guess over, just over the bash bar. But yeah, we're gonna do side skirts first. So uh, we'll get to it. We have never installed a kit on a car before. The only thing we've done are over fenders and front fenders. We're not really sure on like how the best way to do it is. Plan is to zip tie up here uh, to the front fender and then back here right in front of the wheel. And then maybe down the road, we'll put like some double-sided tape or some goopy stuff in here to hold this down. But for now, I'm just gonna zip tie this so that I can, if I need to, I can easily take it off. The other plan was to maybe put rivets here. That also leaves us with the possibility of like hitting something and the whole kit just like ripping off instead of breaking zip ties off. So yeah, we're gonna have to jack up the rear, take off the wheel, but that's basically what it's gonna look like already. We also have to put the livery on, so I guess we'll do that now. Mason sent us, well, he didn't send us. When I picked up the kit, he gave us a side skit, side kit, side skirt, side skirt part of the livery. This part is this. Bro, you can do vinyl wraps now. True. Quit more skids, just do that. And you gotta put that black line under it. Dude, official. Cool. Hot Boy RD. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make a part shop called Hot Boy RD. Hire Jeff and we'll call him Jeff Boy RD. Hey, she look good. From a distance. <laughs> it's the right shape, that's what counts. Everyone just remember that Mason didn't do the side skirts. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a reflection of his ability. For anyone that doesn't know about The Quiet Life, you should check them out. They make really cool uh, clothing in their skate company that watches our videos. That's mm -hmm. rad. I was going to wear a Quiet Life shirt today, and then it was dirty. Seek. I love that logo. It's pretty sick. It looks so good with that sticker on there now. Yeah, that's the bit we need. Let's try to film a bit. bit. <laughs> DJ, film this. Let's film a bit real quick. Oh, okay. All right, I got it. Wait, are you telling me you're not going to commit to the bit? Oh, that's commitment right there. <laughs> <laughs> Zump that hump. I believe in you. Oh, zip tie. She not fake. Little Spodman. Hello, Little Spodman. He's trying to watch. He's trying to get the more skids exclusive. Right above the bill of your hat in the Cosmos. Hey, mate. Little quick Spodman run so fast. Little quick Spodman bite your ass. <laughs> little quick Spodman. He's the man. Oh, I forgot to film the thing. Oops. <laughs> Spider-Man's out. I'll see you guys later. dude. Catch me on the other side. You know, dude, he's zooming. He's got a 1J and eight legs. Imagine if your car had eight wheels, dude. It'd be so fast. That's how that works. Wow, a job well done. Quant on the front. Quant on the front. That's how we get to daunt. <laughs> how are we going to do it in the rear? What like, what mean? are we going to zip tight to? Same thing. There's oh. a little lift that goes back. Okay. <laughs> All right, so on this side, it's a little different because we're drilling into fiberglass and then into like the actual fender. So it's going to be a little tougher, but we're tough guys. We can tough it out. I think you've drilled through your perfect wrap job. The description of this video should be close-ups of zip ties, because that's all we got so far. Oh, she looked thick and thirsty, sturdy. Oh, she ain't moving nowhere. Damn. She, I didn't expect it to be so sturdy. She a dirty skirty. He a sturdy skirty. She a dirty, dirty, sturdy, sturdy skirty. Oh, man. <laughs> we install dirty, sturdy skirties. Yep. Okay, time to put the other side skirt on. After a short intermission that we just had. Yeah, we just went and watched and, uh, Uploaded, uploaded the E36 vid. Yeah, we did all about this car. 
We even got all the sponsor stickers in reverse on this side of the car. So now we have to put the livery on this side skirt like we did on the last one real quick. Oh yeah, real quick. Well, I didn't film it. <laughs> but the back one's done. I mean, I filmed, I didn't film the black streak. Replying to nerds on Instagram. I left the side skirt in front of my car the other night and my dad accidentally ran it over. You kind of see like where the fiberglass cracked. Uh, Mason so. gave me like a bunch of extra vinyl in case something like that happened. And uh, doesn't look too bad. It's gonna get worse. Yeah, you're never gonna see it there anyway. Yeah. Look at that pretty wrap. Shining gold. Ooh wee wow. Quit that eye life. <laughs> it's the backwards one. Dude, we don't need enough squeeze around here. What are you taking me for? Oh, just kidding. Mm. This is, uh, the zip ties are working way better than I thought it was going to work. I thought there was going to be no way to make it not flimsy. Alright, now it's time to work on the front time. I want to give another huge shout out to Fine Line Tuning. Oh, big time. Because they hooked us up fatty with this kit. For sure. Without them, it wouldn't have been possible to have this. To have this hot boy. <laughs> Without Fine Line Tuning, it would have been impossible to have a Fine Line Tuning body kit. <laughs> Plus a lot of people are like, why'd you have to get help from your friend to buy that car? We're not rich. No. <laughs> YouTube does not equal money. <laughs> we say that a lot, but it's true. If I showed you my bank account right now, you would... I'm literally negative like 700 and something dollars. Yeah. I had to deposit all my tips from work the other day so that I would be at zero. We put all of the money that we make into our cars. A hundred percent. Now how you can hear your car bending when you jack it up. Trying to get a cage. So Quentin said, and he's right that this one might be a little harder to do because it's so shattered up front so it might kind of suck to drill into but it'll be fine we'll see Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna have to finish this tomorrow because DJ has to go to work right now and then I have to go shortly after. But we got both the side skirts on. Yep. With zip ties. True. We're zip tied up. That looks pretty stirred for not being on the road. Does she brew? Oh my fucking God. Kill my whole life off. It's just cause it's broke. Oh really? Just break it out of the way. Maybe when she's on the groin. All right, I gotta dip though. Diphtheria, dip you later, smelly. It's the next day and I'm trying to get all of this stuff over to Hunter's house, his hangar where we did the 1J swap, so that I can have everything mounted up and ready to go for DriftCon after dark this Saturday. In any case, I'll be there driving the drift games, which is gonna be super fun. And then Sunday, I'm driving grassroots, hopefully if all goes well Saturday. But yeah, I'm gonna head to Hunter's house, try to get the rear bumper and the front bumper mounted up. I had to remove one of the side skirts because that little spot on the side skirt that was crushed is not allowing the wheel to turn all the way so i gotta figure out something to do with that maybe just cut it off short of where it meets with the wheel when it turns anyway we got it all loaded up hopefully i get no trouble from the cops all right so i made it to hunter's hangar with no problems from police or anything like that um for anyone who didn't know this is where we pretty much did the entire one jz swap inside of this hangar it's an airplane chilling right here the plan is to do the rear bumper first but first we gotta figure out how to take off the stock rear bumper. I've never done it before, but. Here. I did not realize how heavy that fucker was, but there it is. Okay, we're gonna put the crash bar back on and then put the new fiberglass bumper over the crash bar. So since uh, this was a two man job and we only have two people here, Four we hands. were not able to film the process, but we got it on using two zip ties. There's gaps here and like same gap on the other side, but overall it looks pretty dang good. Maybe some double-sided tape or I was thinking about just popping a rivet in there or something. I don't know. doesn't look bad though. It looks really good and it fit really good. Shout out to Fine Line Tuning because all their shit always just fits yeah, perfectly. So yeah, now we're going to throw the back wheels back on and get started on the front bumper, which is going to be a bitch because we have to cut a lot of the fiberglass away to make it fit over the bash bar. We got to do a little bit of maintenance here on the hood pins because the hood has to sit up a little bit so that it clears the bash bar and we can get the front bumper to meet level with the hood. So we're going to put some washers below that nut to raise up the level of the hood pin. We have the jack point on the front bash bar, so to be able to get to the jack point with like a standard size jack, we need to cut out this uh, uh, circle out of the front bumper. 
Okay, sorry this is like such a two-man task. We got the front bumper fitted. Pretty much everything went smoothly until the front bumper. Um, I'm gonna have to get some of those bumper quick releases to make it fit a little better. A pretty big gap up in the front that I do not like, but the sides are pretty good. We just have them zip tied. And then to try to figure out this gap, we zip tied over here. Definitely just gonna need to do something other than zip ties. But overall, the car looks fucking sick and I am super excited to drop it in just a couple seconds. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this video. Sorry it was so uh, jumpy. We were just shorthanded, so we didn't really have anyone to film. But there it is. Looks fucking good. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully I see some of you guys at DriftCon this Saturday. Uh, this video will probably be posted on Friday, tomorrow. And uh, another huge shout out to Fine Line Tuning because uh, I wouldn't have this kit if it wasn't for them. And yeah, huge shout out to you guys for watching the videos and supporting everything that we do. So we can have rad things like this.